Earlier in the show, we spoke to Tyler and Matthew, two former bullies, who said they regretted the way they behaved at school. Well, we asked you to get in touch if you were struggling with the way you had treated others or were still recovering from the effects of bullying. Deirdre's here now to take your calls, and let's talk to Kate. Hi, Kate. Your story Hi, is sort Kate. of similar to Tyler and Matthew's, really. You say you turned into a bully after being bullied. I did, yeah. Um, I was bullied from the age of 8 until 12, um, to the point that I would make myself sick. Um, I didn't want to go to school at all. Um, but then high school came along. Um, obviously, high school is a much bigger place to middle schools, and the people that once bullied me... They were much smaller people all of a sudden, um, and there were much bigger people than then there as well. Um, I effectively became one of the bullies. Um, so did you? was this a sort of take your revenge? Totally, yeah, yeah. Um, I got my own back. It was a power trip. Um, they sort of, they, they stopped bullying me. They mm. knew better than to do that by that point. Um, and then, yeah, the, the power trip set But then in. it grew, because you, you've not only uh, taken revenge on the bullies, then you're, you're, you say that it grew into picking on people who hadn't done anything wrong to you in the first place. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, there was one time um, there was a girl in my form group. She took a massively brave move and had a haircut, um, had a lot of hair cut off. She had quite long hair before, had it all cut off. And I look back now in hindsight, I was awful. I was horrible to her about her hair, um, to the point that she moved to a different class. Um, there was never any repercussions on my side of events. Mm. So it how... was always they would move the person that was, you know, being upset. Yeah. Um, and, yeah, I, there was never any trouble. So you obviously have got criticisms of how the school handled it, and how has it left you feeling about how you behaved? I'm so guilty. I am yeah. so guilty for it. I've got three children myself, two of which are girls. Um, my eldest has already, at eight years old, she's had her first taste of being bullied. Um, so, yeah, I, I live with that regret now that... You know, I, I was once that person. So, can I ask you, Kim, what, what, would you, what would you say to your daughter then? Because mm. you, this is like almost history repeating itself. So your daughter's getting her first taste at the age of eight. You said between eight and 12 this started for you. What are you going to say to her to stop this happening again? Because it yeah. seems it's just the same formula. Yeah. Um, the way I look at it, both for the victim and the bully, actually, um, there is a far bigger world outside of school. Um, and I don't think children realise that when they are either on the receiving end or dishing it out. Um, you very much think that it's the be-all and end-all and it is survival of the fittest. Um, yeah, you, you don't see that actually once you leave school, if you've bullied someone, that's, that's going to follow you at some point. But um, nonetheless, that... at this age, I mean, for your daughter, school probably is... Most, you know, she's got the family and she's got school. So it is yeah. an awful lot of her world. So if you actually talking to the school about how they're handling this, I absolutely agree with you. It's a dynamic. You need to help the, you know, you need to look at what's going on for the bull bullies as well as for the bullied children. But are you actually encouraging the school to deal with this? Definitely, yeah. Um, and it's, it's always very much they will ask, the school will ask questions as to, you know, is there anything troubling my daughter, but then they don't look into the bully and, and if the bully has got there. anything going on. Can yeah. I just ask you very quickly, have you reached out to the people that you bullied? No, I'm, no, I'm too ashamed. I'd be too ashamed. And there's no... There's, there's nothing I could ever say to make up for what I did. Sometimes, well, you, sometimes sorry about. might be good enough. Absolutely. Have you ha yeah. I mean, do you actually see them around? Uh, Facebook is a wonderful thing, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, um, you, well... You see things on Facebook and realise what beautiful people they've grown up to be and, you know, it's, um, it's a massive regret. It's a huge regret. I think it's true, though. Reach out, say sorry, and also, if it really clouds how you feel, consider having some counselling, you know, because sometimes we live with regret and don't actually do anything about it, solve it for ourselves and act on it. Mm. All right, Kate, yeah. thank you very thank much you. indeed. Thank you. Thank Brave you. call.